Hi there, my name is Sachi Komai. This is my sister Laura. Um, together we own Anthology, which is a paper and gift shop in the heart of downtown Madison on State Street, just um, a block away from the library here. Um, we are the current residents of the Bubbler. We've been here since March, and so we're here for March and April. Um, Let's see, we met Trent, who's kind of the, the program coordinator for the Bubbler. We met him, uh, let's see, many years ago when my daughter, um, my daughter would come to the library all the time and he was the um, youth services librarian. So um, I think he knew about our shop, he knew about the work that my sister and I like to do on our own time, and so he, when he mentioned that the new library was opening up, it was going to be a Bubbler maker space with a rotation of artists. And um, we just got to talking about um, could we have a spot. So that's how it all came about. <laughs> and um, basically, since we've been here in March, we um, we have projects that we've shared with people, and the bubbler space is pretty much always open and available available for people to use. So the tables are here, and even before we had this residency, I would come here and use the table space for um, binding books or working on a project that I needed more space for. And um, whenever the library is open and the doors are to the bubbler are open, the space is open and available. And um, so we've set up some stations that people can come in and just work on projects at any time. We don't have to be here to uh, supervise or anything. So um, we've got a lot of different scraps of paper and um, supplies for collaging so people can make collage bookmarks. We have uh, little templates that people can make um, little houses out of book pages. And um, my personal favorite is using photo snippets, using a paper punch that's a square to punch out photos and kind of make a story out of fractions of photographs. And um, then we also have some journals that people can add their own collages and poetry and writing into. So we have all those stations are available for people to work on at any time. And then we are also here a couple afternoons a week, each of us working on our own projects. I've been working on some batik paper, so I'm using melted wax as a resist and then dyeing the paper, and then ultimately I'm going to sew that together and make um, a wall piece here for the library. I think it was funny when we first sat down with Trent and kind of went over the logistics of being the residents. Um, at the last moment he kind of tossed off, oh, and you guys just get free reign of the library, you can do what you want with the space. And the time I was a little overwhelmed because it's huge, but um, I started... Um, uh, what I really became attached to was cutting out book illustrations from field guides, nature guides to like butterflies and um, butterflies and insects, and just leaving these little visual surprises throughout the library. I love the idea of rewarding people for coming to the library and also browsing the stacks. Um, we even we've been cutting out favorite um, classic vintage children's book characters and children's book illustrations and putting them in kind of little peepholes around the, the library. So it's a, very, um, it's a very inspiring space, I would say. There's just a lot of opportunities to leave what I mentioned, the visual surprises. So we've done lots of garlands, and like I said, the little field guide. We have little butterflies kind of fluttering throughout the, the library. And you know, it's a, it's a great space, but there's a lot of steel and glass. It can feel a little cold, so I like the idea of bringing in something organic and something kind of coming to life from the pages of the books, and sort of living throughout the library. And I think for me, what I've really enjoyed really goes hand in hand with the mission of our store, which is overall to just uh, facilitate creativity. And I have this happen at the store where so often people come in and they they look around and they say, oh, I'm not creative. And it's like they, they dismiss any creative, even the smallest smidgen of creativity that they have in themselves. And my whole mission has always been to encourage people and you know, just to give them a little spark to say, hey, it's not that scary, it's not that difficult, just kind of jump in and try it. And you know, the bubbler space fits just perfectly with that as well as an open space and a component of the library, which is so much about um, being accessible and being available to the public, and but then also sort of feeding into that invitation to let people um, just give themselves permission to do something creative. So I think that this space really works well for that um, as an open space that people can come into 
And I mean, that's been my favorite thing of the whole process is I just stop in and I can see that people have been collaging and they've been, you know, making photo snippets and they're working in the journals and they're just giving themselves even just a little bit of time to work on something creative. That's probably my greatest pleasure from this process.